Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. The best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> Show me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more! Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong hmm? way! You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. Hmm. Oh, a tiny lake. Gross. What? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> ah, yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, uh. 
Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vicky's a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> Get them. For him. Baby's going on a grow spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, um, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony together. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for Little Vic. Ooh. Ah, help me. Ah. Oh, oh, no! no. no. You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Is there anything we can do? Do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't wanna go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you... Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid... Oh, my God. 
so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it! Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Phew. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. Guys, <laughs> looks like we bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. Wait, do you wait? <laughs> this is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam, and of course you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's so cute. Another girl in the house. <laughs> girl power. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us yeah. until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is going prickly pear. She's so cute. Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. 
If only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Nick, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hooray, Hooray Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's gonna be okay. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat, I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud, but the one thing that separates cats from boar is, cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> and I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm hmm I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone see Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone stop panicking! Sam! Until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry! Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! <laughs> She's not here. But she was. Where to? What does she say? May I help you pack? Idea! What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? Yay! 
What's going on here? Oh, well, that's adorable. We can't stay here. Your little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. I'd do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? My behind is extra fuzzy. Well done, Moth. Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? <sighs> I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. <clears throat> yeah, um, have you thought about climbing <clears throat> like an actual real cat? <clears throat> oh, of course. That was my plan B. <clears throat> Cat stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat! Real cat! Go, Sam! Go! Uh, no. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit!
weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you fell. It's different. Do it! Uh, Sam, hey, there you are! <sighs> Great. I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm-hmm. <sighs> no, seriously. You're a natural barn comedian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you... Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks. Wait! What is going to... Good! You ask him, now you! Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? Huh? We can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No! Oh, for Fluffy a nugget! But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> Girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, MG, Washington. Oh, uh, and quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. Wow! My brother, a star! A star? I'm a star! Wow! Well... For today, anyway. Must be from one of my GoofTube fans. Yeah? Uh. <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. Cut! Perfection. <laughs> My costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need a take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. Well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if 
if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. Wow, I've always wanted to work in film. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. <laughs> In three, two, one, rolling! Meow! Meow! Now, Joy! Genius! Huh, so he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's war! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 <laughs> It's a wrap. The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your oeuvre. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 Your fans will love it! Yeah. Here like that, perfect! Here we go! Take. I didn't really catch it when you hit the steel girder the first time. <laughs> right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, Watch. Sam, you can't do this to me. We've gotta make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look, that's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Mine, there's not even any action. I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at it, Sam. 
leftovers from lunch. What do you think it is this time? Cool. Greasy. Stinky. Delicious. Delicious. Happy hungry with a brand new noodle box you can take with you anywhere you want. <gasps> My head. What is that horrific noise? <laughs> Gracie and Alfie, the worst. What was that about? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a toy xylophone, the worst of the worst. can't take their human food? If that happens, then we get the bad boy! Bad boy! Bad boy! Oh, right. Leftovers are a special gift that the humans give us for being good boys. If we start snatching stuff, we'll be denied treats forever. Forever? Forever! The only way we're gonna get our teeth into that delicious treat is by behaving ourselves and being good boys. Good boy! Good yeah. boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <gasps> I'm a good boy! Yay for you! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Being a good boy makes my face hurt! <laughs> ha, stupid kids! Never had a clue what happened! <laughs> That means we get to run around like crazy and make lots of noise. It's a free pass freak out! Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Meow. Arf, woof, arf! What? Bunnies don't get to make excited sounds like you guys, so I made some up. Children. Mrs. Appleton, uh, what brings you over? Uh, Mrs. Livingstone, I. Your music toy is lost, sweetheart. No, Mommy, I want Let's it. Let's get out of here. Normally, I wouldn't ask you, but could you watch Gracie and Alfie for an hour, please? It's an emergency. Mm. Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. They're really sweet kids. You remember. <sighs> they just love your cat. Victoria, right? Don't let them eat nuts or dairy or anything pink. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my old toys are here somewhere. Oh, no. Alfie and Gracie. Wait. This should be good. Good boys. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the Painbot 3000. Keeping them occupied. Let's not disturb them for an hour. Come on, let's sneak out of the room. Sam, this is it. It is? Wait, what is it? It's a test, don't you see? If we help the elves with the kids, they'll see we're good boys, and they'll have to reward us with a box of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 
Washington, are you sure about this? Uh huh. <laughs> these leftovers are gonna taste all the more delicious once we're done with these sweet little <laughs> angels. <laughs> 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 Sam, manners? You're supposed to be a good boy. Oh, yeah. For you, Mr. Doggy, I've got a mini cupcake. Mm -hmm. mm, yum! Rarf, arf! Be a good boy and eat it properly! Hmm. <laughs> Sam, is all this worth some leftovers? Let me think about that. Mm, yes! Welcome to Gracie's hair salon! Hey! Or maybe not. Run! <gasps> you have to hide me. Victoria, is that some sort of game? Yes, yes, just do it now. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely. Must be Mrs. Appleton. Oh, we're saved. I got them exactly what they wanted. Oh, thank you for watching the kids. Well, actually, we. Oh, oh you guys found it. Well, now we have to double the music. 
<laughs> Where's Alfie? Kitty! <laughs> there you are. I told you he loves your cat. When I split them up, he'll freak. Oh, why tear them apart? <laughs> sure. We'll come get Vic later when the kids are asleep. And quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Come on, kids. <laughs> oh, one last thing. I have some leftovers. Would anyone want any? <laughs> well, you guys have been very good boys today, haven't you? Haven't you? Uh. <laughs> you think we were living with a couple of wild animals. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Breeze. Not really. No, our first date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> 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 No reason to panic. I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. Doesn't make me look too fat. Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The wild. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous. Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey guys, oh. we're home. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please. There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If wash... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. 
You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no! Let's get into Shh. It's the garbage truck. What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> <Come on. clears throat> Discover Stash Pace new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Pace by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Why should the lion? Shh, look. These far flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa it's never me. Yikes. How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it. The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. Whoosh! I really think it's us everyone's afraid of! Of course not! They're scared of the driver! Meanwhile, Thousands of kilometers from the savannah plains, the cobra moth flutters carefree through oh, the jungle. Hey! That's me! This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you! <laughs> Sam, they're going to arrest him. Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news, brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam. The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? Uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. Huh? We gotta do something. <laughs> okay, let's go, quick. Row, 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 row. Phew, that was close. This is gonna be your turn, coward! Hey, over yeah. here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. <laughs> Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. <laughs> I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Sam, hurry up! Just leave me here. Yeah. Come on, move! We already have a bird on our team. Yeah. 
That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be far. <laughs> You coward! It's up to you, Vladimir! Guys! Susie! Susie! Quick! Take off your costume! Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest! The forest? With those costumes? He's gonna send you to the jungle! Not fun for a boy and a fox! Quick! Eugenie is waiting for us! <laughs> <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? The things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec. Those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Your costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> While you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. We, we still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. Hmm? <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere on my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Oh. Meow. Arf, arf. 